What's up guys, it's Meg and welcome back to May After Dark. It is finally that time we get to see the season premiere of Game of Thrones. Uh, it's season seven, episode one called Dragonstone. It's on now, let's watch it together. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Isn't he dead? Flashback, maybe? You're wondering why I brought you all here. After all, no. we just had a feast. Since when does old Walter give us two feasts in a single fortnight? <laughs> well, it's no good being lord of the Riverlands if you can't celebrate with your family. That's what I say. Confused at the moment, but a toast. Stand together. No, you. What? I'm wasting good wine on a damn woman. But he didn't take a drink either. Does he know it's been Eddie, poisoned? I'm not the most pleasant man. Great man. All of you. Oh, it's Arya taking on his face. Hell yeah. That's Arya. Slaughter your guests after inviting them into your home. I can't believe I didn't get that at first. Oh my god, you guys, this is so amazing. The one wolf alive. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this so much. Go, Arya. When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers. Tell them winter came for House Frey. Oh, Arya is so badass now, you guys. And the fact that she can do this face change thing, which I don't entirely get, is freaking amazing. Not even there anymore. <laughs> Aye. Last time we saw the Night King was at Hardholm. The closest castle to Hardholm is Eastwatch by the sea. And that's where I'll go. Looks like we're at the Night's Watch now. <laughs> I love Torment. <laughs> they reached the wall. The first two castles in their path are Last Hearth and Carhol. Bush and the Car Starks have fought beside the Starks for centuries. They've kept faith for generation after generation. And then they broke faith. I'm not going to strip these families of their ancestral homes because of the crimes of a few reckless sons. So there's no punishment for treason and no reward for loyalty. Oh, Sansa. She's questioning him. Look at Littlefinger so happy because he wants Sansa to go against Jon in order to get himself on the Iron Throne. We can't have discord well, between the family. Commander, the Night's Watch. It's ours now, we just have to take it. Mm. You've been quiet since you came home. Yeah, because he knows yeah, you're an know awful me. person. No. I'm angry. I'm the queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Three kingdoms at best. <laughs> I'm not sure you understand how much danger we're in. I understand we're in a war for survival. I understand whoever loses dies. I want to see Jamie turn on her, finally. I wanted to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. Oh, please. So here I am, with a thousand ships and two good hands. Oh, a dig at Jamie. A declining proposal. Ooh. I don't expect you to trust me outright. 
You need proof of my honest intentions. In my experience, the surest way to open his heart is with a gift. Uh oh, what gift. gift. I won't return to King's Landing until I have that for you. What is it, John Snow? What's he? What's a priceless gift to Cersei? One of her enemies dead? Ew. Oh. Oh, yuck. No. It is not the dream job he thought it was gonna be, is it? Oh, he's gonna go let himself in. Since nobody else will. <coughs> this gives me anxiety. I don't wanna get caught. Oh, there's Tormund in the background. He loves Brienne. Look at his face! <laughs> he's the best. <laughs> she wants none of his shit I either. Beat the hounds in single combat. For hands of gold are always gold. Are we serious right now? <laughs> For hands. I don't like the look of it. For a big hard man, you scare is he? I'll tell you what doesn't scare me. Bold cocksuckers like you. You think you're fooling anyone with that top knot? <laughs> Did he like kill that family at some point? He's been there before, right? God, there's always so many details in every episode that you just always forget stuff, or at least I do. Ice. A wall of ice. What? The wall. What if? It's where the wall meets. Do you believe me now, Clegane? Do you believe we're here for a reason? Okay, that was not creepy at all. Was he, did he take all their food and let them starve? Was that it? I feel like I barely remember something. Like he's responsible. For their death. What is it? It's a map of Dragonstone. The Targaryens built their first stronghold there when they invaded Westeros. That's Dragonglass. A mountain of it. Beneath the ground, Stannis told me better than That's where John needs to go. John needs to know. Dragonstone and Jon Snow needs to go to Dragonstone to get Dragonglass. Maybe they'll meet up. Oh, wasn't this where, wasn't Stannis Baratheon here? Like, I feel like that looks really familiar. And see, that's where they were planning out the their war and stuff. God, that was a long time ago that I watched that, but that Scenery looks familiar, so if any of you know, please feel free to tell me. Shall we begin? <laughs> Time to plot out how they're gonna take the throne. Okay. Wow, uh, that ended really fast, it felt like. I guess it's been an hour already, hasn't it? Uh, what did you guys think of the episode? 
Like, I loved the way that it started out uh, with Arya taking out House Frey. That was insane. Uh, it threw me off there just for a second because, you know, obviously the last time we saw uh, Walter Frey, he was bleeding from his throat. She'd just taken him out. He'd just eaten his sons for dinner. Um, so seeing him there for a second, I don't know why I didn't put that together quick enough, but I, I didn't think that was Arya. And then all of a sudden I realized it, which I thought that was pretty amazing, a uh, way for her to get revenge and just take out the entire house. Um, the John and Sansa with Littlefinger there, you know, John is trying to rule, trying to get the numbers uh together and sansa is um undermining him a little bit which you saw their little argument there and that's exactly what Littlefinger wants you know in the i think it was in the finale of season six you saw him tell her that he pictured himself on the iron throne with her by his side and he would do anything to make that happen pretty much like that's all he can think about so he really likes the fact that she is kind of undermining john a little bit because obviously he can't be Littlefinger can't be on the iron throne with sansa unless john snow is out of the picture or you know she takes kind of her rightful place um bran is finally a little bit closer to john uh to <laughs> not quite he finally makes it to the wall uh and yet john is now gone i, I feel like we've been waiting for bran to kind of come back into the picture uh for so long here he's been kind of out on his own for forever and now he's the three-eyed raven i guess and it's all a bit confusing uh, for me, we have Euron Greyjoy coming back to Cersei, um, kind of proposing to her and then telling her that he will bring her back something, a prize or whatever, something she would really want uh, in order to win her trust, which that's really interesting to me because I feel like it's got to be some kind of person, you know, like some kind of gift a person or something or something she can use as leverage. Uh, Wow, I really enjoyed this episode. I was a little thrown off there. You know, we saw quite a bit there of the Hound and I'm not quite sure how all of that plays into this, the storyline. You know, they show you bits and pieces of people, you know, characters and it all kind of means something. They're not gonna show us something that we don't really need to see. And so that was interesting for me because I don't really know how that is gonna connect to the rest of the story. Uh, I don't really remember what the hound was doing before all of that i kind of miss that i remember we were shocked to see that he was still alive but i kind of missed the rest of it um we have sam in the citadel i think that's where he's at right uh trying to get information for john he finally gets it but he has to sneak it which i'm wondering if there's going to be some kind of repercussions for that i think we saw was it jo is it jorah is that what his name jorah of the and andals whatever you know who i'm talking about here it was the guy that fought for daenerys and loved her and then went away because he had the disease whatever it is uh and i think that he's he's in there maybe sam will find a cure for him as well that would be kind of cool okay you guys um i'm really excited for oh and last but not least daenerys lands at dragonstone and is one step closer to conquering <laughs> uh and and taking the throne back i thought that was really interesting was i right that that was where stannis had been i don't know i feel like i watched all of season one to six in such a whirlwind that I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of it. The only season I've watched twice now is season six, so I feel like I should probably go back and uh, learn a bit more, but I feel like I've got, I've got a grip on some of it, so fill in the blanks for me, if you will. Uh, I really enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it too, and let me know what you thought in the comments, and I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a fantastic night. Bye. Okay, I just started watching the Encore presentation and apparently I missed the recap at the beginning of the Game of Thrones episode here. So, <laughs> note to the wise, do not miss the recap at the beginning of each Game of Thrones episode because it will remind you of all the shit that you need to know before watching the episode <laughs> so that you don't sound like a complete idiot like I did. So I, I just saw the recap again and now I understand uh, the Hound and what he was 
how he was connected to those people at the farm. I had totally forgotten about that. Um, man, definitely do not forget to watch <laughs> the recap at the beginning of the episode. I don't know, I got so distracted and in a hurry to like start filming and start recording that I just like skipped through that. So I get it now, I got it. All right, I love you guys, goodbye.